Hey, 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 hello, everybody. Wow, getting like I keep doing that singy thing at the start. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Mario Kart 8, the road to 10,000. If you're watching this, guys, I'm going to use my powers of uh, of audience here to to make show you guys, send you guys over to a um, to a friend of mine. From uni, who's doing a podcast now? I know a friend of his, who I don't know who wasn't from uni for me, but it does not part the point. So he's an old friend of mine. His name was Alex Farnham. I haven't talked to him in ages because I'm terrible at keeping in touch with people, especially when it comes, to, especially with this. I just do work and lose track of time and days. And then suddenly it's been a it's been a month, and then it's been a year, and then I have no idea what's going on, and then I'm like, oh, I can't talk to that person now. It's been too long. And that's what happens. That's what happens with me a lot. And uh, that's why I never. That's why I lose contact with everyone. <laughs> Sink inside of myself, and uh, I need like someone to come and pull me out of it, or I'll just never see anyone. Oh, I'm gonna fucking red shell the shit out of you. Interesting. Did you do that to get avoid the red shell? Or did he just get disconnected? Because that was weird. Just like, whoa, I'm in ninth? Wow, we are, whoa, first place is so far ahead? Wow, okay, anyway, I wasn't paying attention. Anyway, so, um, yeah, I'm really bad at this. Anyway, right, that's not the point. I, was, I, I, I went off on another thing about how I am a terrible friend to everyone I know. I am. But, uh, yeah, like, being friends with me is a nightmare because I'm very hard to get a hold of because I very rarely answer my phone because I hardly ever have my phone next to me. And if I do, it's very rarely ever charged. Um, I don't know, I find it hard to remember to be like, to just call and text people now and then to say things. I usually don't do it unless I have something to say. I don't just do it for the sake of doing it. You know what I mean? Which is bad. But, uh, yeah. So, a friend of mine is doing a podcast. And, uh, it's called beard wags, like chin wags, you know when you like have a talk and you like chin wagging, have a talk. He's originally, oh you goddamn, he's from Jersey, which is this little tax haven on the side of between France, uh, France and the UK, and I'm joking, although I'm in eighth, wow, I don't, that was weird, um, although that's, 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 like, that's like a joke. <laughs> but yeah, so uh, I think I'm, where is he living now? I can't remember now. He said in there. He said in the podcast I just watched that I can't listen to. Like I can't remember what it was now. Um. So anyway, yeah, he's doing like a podcast called Beardwags, and I'd love it if you guys want to check it out. It's, there's three episodes right now, and they're up on SoundCloud, and they're just two uh, two geeky guys, um, fans of games, movies, big movie fans, and um. Animes and manga and stuff like that, and they just chatting, chatting, shooting the shit. It's very, it's a bit of a formless uh, thing, more like a discussion between two people. And uh, I like that kind of stuff. Those are my favorite podcasts, actually. The ones that aren't structured, the ones that are just a conversation between two people. Kind of reminds me of like the old Yog Pod stuff, where there was just two people talking about nonsense for for a while. Those are my favorite podcasts, ones that have no no direction at all and are just a conversation. <laughs> You get, but that's how you go. You like you start off like that, and then you you sort of structure it. But uh, I like the sort of formlessness, casual chat to it. So check it out. I'm gonna link it in the description. Do me a favor. Check them out. Let them know that the man himself will be sending you. You don't have to do that actually. And uh, be nice. Don't be a dick. Or I will. Uh, I'll hit you. With my uh, penis. No, I won't. That's. Don't arrest me, please. Can't prove I said that in a court of law. Oh boy. It won't. It won't stand up in a court. I swear it. Wow. So this person is a different person who's in first and from before. I think what I'm going to do here. The person in front of me doesn't have any. I'm. I'm. I'm going to fire that. I'm going to play it dangerous here. Pshh! 
Oh no. <laughs> oh well, I kind of felt like I hit with my bomb, but apparently I didn't. So yeah, go check him out. Beard Wags. You podcast. Start about. First, one, first episode was up 15 days ago, I think. So, I don't know what the schedule is for coming out. The last one was up 8 days ago. I don't know how often it is. I think it's sort of a whenever kind of thing. But maybe fairly often. But, uh, yeah. Check it out. I, I enjoyed it. He sent me a message about it on Twitter ages ago. And then uh, I meant to check it out. And I just forgot. Because, uh, what, ages ago when he put the first one out. And, uh, and I just forgot. Because, um... I looked at it and then was like, okay, I gotta remember to watch that. And then just got distracted and forgot. Cause that's how I do. So that's another thing. When it comes to people texting me, like, they'll message me. And I'll mean to message them back. And god damn, I'm doing terrible. And uh, I'll forget. Oh, I feel like a failure. That is the most embarrassing of all Mario Kart things. <laughs> um, and like, I'll forget. I'll get distracted. And then think I've texted them back. And then suddenly it'll be a month later. And I'll be like, oh yeah, I never messaged that dude back. Oops. There you go, that's an insight into the world of Milby, why he doesn't make the best friend in the world. But, uh, yeah, check him out, Beardwags. Give him some love on SoundCloud. I enjoyed it. Definitely, this is definitely one of those podcasts that I did, that I'd listen to in the background and stuff like that while I'm, uh, faffing around. I was, actually, I was playing Monster Under 4, grinding away on some monsters, getting some, uh, gear. I just, I don't make very fast progress in Monster Hunter because I just spend all this time getting each, each, as each new armor piece comes out, I'm like, oh, gotta get that. And I just <laughs> spend forever getting them all. What have I currently got? Let's see what's, uh, see what equipment sets I've currently got. I'm currently using a charge blade at the moment because uh, I've, uh, I switched over from uh, some of the other ones because they're just too weak. And, uh, yeah, so at the moment, if you've played the game, I currently got a nice lever set, daring set, chainmail, hunter's bone, alloy, bandahabra, rhinopolis, a jaggy, velocipre, azuros, kicha, deep seros, and gem prey. I really would like to record these, but I just, I don't have the 3D capture card, uh, the 3DS capture card technology available to me right now. And I'm not going to buy an old one until the new, 3D, new Nintendo 3DS capture stuff comes out. So... You know, unless uh, unless like a dove drops it from my from my roof, then uh, it's not gonna happen. There's no point anyway, because I need I like I, I I would I was I've been pretty tempted to buy the the old capture card, but I was like, it'd be a waste. Like I want a new free Nintendo 3DS. Like I don't want to I don't want to buy two new Nintendo. <laughs> I don't want to buy two Nintendo 3DSs because that's what I end up doing. I mean, I guess I could send this one away to be uh, fixed, and uh, I mean. Uh, Customized to capture stuff, because I mean, you can do that. But then I won't have a 3DS, and I won't be able to play Monster Hunter. Fook. Man, I am driving really bad. And I won't be able to play Monster Hunter. Okay? Stop judging me. Shut your face. I don't talk about your mum behind your back. I do. It's not great. But, uh. You know, you just mean you get to do the same to me. <laughs> We're not on equal footings here. I'm above you. Who are you? I don't know who I'm talking to. Who am I talking to? I'm having a conversation with myself again. I'm sorry. I do this a lot. I've always done this in my life. I'm one of those guys who will talk to themselves. Not in like a crazy, oh my god, I'm two people kind of way. In like a, I'll run scenarios in my head and I'll talk myself through them and I'll play all the roles. <laughs> I'll be like, what would happen if I did this? And I'll run the scenario in my head. Like, some sort of, like I'm a robot now, apparently. I make it sound a lot more. I made it sound a lot more like efficient, efficient when I say run the scenario through my head. Um. Yeah, so I would. Ru I'll run the scenario through my. Did I have three green shells? I don't know. And uh, come up with the best, the best outcome. Oh, I fucked up with my drifting then. Oh, this is bad. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. This is bad. Uh, terrible time to use the golden mushroom, but that's fine. I'm getting overtaken. Oh shit! Wow, this is these guys are fast. It is hard to keep up with the fire hoppers of this world. When you're a when you're a smooth running non fire hopping fool, it's difficult to keep up with the all the fire hopping. Yes, fuck you. 
Oh, what? How did he not even... What? Oh, did he boost out of the way? I don't know. It seemed like it didn't do much to him, to be fair. And first place just miles ahead. Oh my god, 24 points? Wow. That's pretty good. Wow, okay, yeah. That's really good. <laughs> I'm sorry I didn't put one of these out yesterday. Um, I'm going to be honest with you here. I was like, hey... I was busy. Yesterday, I could say I was very busy and I didn't have time to do anything. But what I did instead was, instead of up, all I do is I upload at night for the videos for the next day. Instead of doing that, I stayed up all night and watched Community, uh, the last two seasons, four and five. I didn't like four. I think four was the season they changed the writers, wasn't it? It wasn't very good. And then I watched five, which was hilarious. Uh, really funny. I even like the whole weird scrubs thing. There are times when I think Community is too self-referential. But uh, do you want? Do you know why this is in my head? Because of the podcast Beard Wags I was watching. They talk about community, and pulled it back up in my head, and I was like, "Oh, I'm gonna watch that." So I watched again, and yeah, it's very. I like. I, there are times when I'm like, it's a little bit too self-referential, but for the most part, I really like that, and it makes me laugh. It's. I think it's mostly just Abed gets on my nerves. <laughs> it's like just a little bit too. He's so meta, it hurts. But uh, man, I, community. Season four, I remember watching it, and I got—it made me laugh now and then. But uh, then I watched season four, and I didn't think much of it at the time. And I was like, I don't know, what people are saying it's not that bad. And uh, then I watched season five, and I was like, you know, I was like doing the Milby wheeze laugh, where I so got like hypersonic laughter, and I can hardly breathe. And um, oh god, that was dangerous. Oh man, if that green shell hit him, that would have been amazing. And. Uh, yeah, so I was doing that, and that's that's how I know that. Oh God, green shells! That I I've really enjoyed it, and I, then I suddenly realised like how much. Oh, I, sh I knew that was going to happen. Oh, I did the whole stupid drift too early thing. I hate myself. Oh, oh my God. And uh, yeah, and then I realised I was like, man, four really wasn't that great because I was not laughing like this in season four. I am dying of laughter. There was a lot of times where I was seriously choking on laughter. I feel like none of those red shells hit anyone. I don't think I've ever had such a wasteful red shell around. That was... That was just incredible. That was... I felt like I just threw them all down the toilet. This this wrap is the toilet, and I just bunged red shells down it aimlessly. Yeah, this is hard to keep up with people in this one because they are fire hooping everywhere, and it's ah, oh, you fucking slut. I hate this game. <laughs> oh my god, why did I have to do it when I'm in the middle of a mud puddle? It sounds like an innuendo, but it's not. Yep, I knew that was gonna happen. Not much I could do to stop that. To be honest, you were. Already been predestined. Oh, I'm gonna get hit by fucking green shells again now, aren't I? Alright, this is gonna be bad. Yep, there you go. <laughs> really? Oh, of course, of course. That's cool. Well, that was pretty lame. It's gonna be pretty bad, isn't it? Eh, okay, I guess because the group's pretty high and whatnot, but yeah. Yeah, that's what you get when you uh, see the last race where everyone was racing like normal people, and now they're all racing like fire hopping robots who perfected the game to a frightening degree. There's a difference. That's the difference right there. But there you go, guys. Thanks for watching. You enjoyed it. Uh, like I said, guys, check out Beard Wags. I'm not just doing this because they're my friends. I might be partially why I'm doing this, but. Uh, <laughs> but uh, because also I enjoyed it I enjoyed it I'm looking forward to seeing more of them hearing more of them because they're podcasts so check the link below and uh, if you want to get in touch with me guys Milby LP Milby M-I-L-L-B-E-E LP at gmail dot com my email that I'm looking at as far as uh, fan and business and any inquiries go um but yeah, that's it. If you enjoyed the episode, give it a like. Let me know in the comments what you thought about it. And I promise in the one day I will stop going on about fire hopping. But it won't be yet. Until then though, guys. 
Keep riding that riding there, there. Keep there. Keep riding that road to ten thousand. Bye.